we're going to the boat today. We're gonna get up and install that solar hatch, charge the batteries, and uh, take some pictures. That's some dedication to sailing. <laughs> While other people are cross country skiing, screw that, we're going to the boat. This speaks to the durability of ship shaped canvas winter covers. Oh, yeah, we should send this to Jim. There you go. I got the boots on, so I'll go out and you can crawl up and grab the cord. It's not any warmer under the cover when it's not well, sunny should... outside. There's no sunshine. Hey, I'm going down. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to climb up to the bow and hand down the the power cord so you can get this baby plugged in. Ooh, fast. How much do you need? I think that sounds good. Really? Yeah. Well then plug her in. So we're up at Cornucopia at the boat in the middle of January. Got the boat plugged in. It's pretty icy up here, but this is a nice day compared to some of the days we've had. So there's our girl. Looks like we had about 13 amps on the batteries before we started charging. It's the end of January. So, uh, the battery charger is on. It's, they're taking about 13.7 amps, 13.7, 13.8, and we're going to let it set for the afternoon and charge up. Give us a nice good charge in the middle of winter. It'll be good for the next couple months. All right, here's our electrical panel, and see if I can show. Batteries are charging at about 14.2, 14.3 amps. Sorry, volts. Get my amps and volts straight here. Okay, so this is the hatch that we are reinstalling. We're going to take out the plywood and we're going to put in the screws and put in the new hatch. So here we go. All right. Are you down there? Boo boo? You ready? Yep. Okay, we're gonna put our solar vent in here. I got one screw here I need to undo. Oh. Are you ready to hold that board? Uh, Just hold it with your hand. Yeah. Oh yeah, you got it from your side. Okay. Ready? Yep. I didn't bring the drill, so this is more of a yeah, I see that hands-on thing. Okay, it's out of here. Okay, good. Okay, that's that. All right. 
here's the new solar vent, solar hatch. Okay, so I'm going to have some pieces for you here. Oh, I guess this all just happens up here, doesn't it? Uh, it might very well. Okay. So I need both screwdrivers then. Oh, okay. Here. All right. I'm going to try to put one of these little pieces in first and get the little... I need to get one in first, just from each side, just so that it'll align everything. You're on film, just so you know. <laughs> okay. This is one of our fun things of trying to do this when you're cold and your fingers are cold and but at least we got a top on the boat so we can do this stuff in the winter time when it gets to be spring this is way better than doing it when it was 30 it'll below. be way better yeah it's not all that cold so all right i at least have one in each side so that everything is aligned okay just keep the video going it is i'm just moving stuff Over the hole. I got it balanced on your mitten. Of course, you probably don't need to re do that. You can blot the sound out and maybe just make some. <sighs> okay. So. I think I can turn this around mid. Give them a little tightening, although I don't know that they need a whole ton. Putting the screws back on the hinges on the original vent so we can still open it if we want to. This will all make all kinds of sense in the summertime. I was crazy we wanted to have some air. When this boat's closed up, it's pretty airtight. That's for when we turn into a submarine in 10-foot waves. Yeah, and we've done that before, too. All right, you want to do a test on the closing and opening and stuff? Sure. Whoa. Whoa what? Oh. Well, it doesn't have a... Oh, no, it doesn't. And it so won't anymore. I know. It won't have the hydraulic arm. No, because I drove that pin out of it. I know, so we, but we can still close it. Yes. Yeah. So down. Yep. And closed. Nice. Yep. New solar vent. There you Open. Go. Just push it up. Awesome. We'll have to have some little chalk sort of a thing so we can block I think it open. You can, I think you loosened the screw on the handle, though, because when it closes, it doesn't seem like it's sealing very tight. Oh, well, I did a little bit. I mean, it's like before when it closed, it, like, latched. Oh, well, try it now. Oh, here. I got it. Oh, that's... Oh, okay, 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 okay. Ah, uh, that's too tight. <laughs> okay, well, loosen it up. <laughs> it must have a certain... Is that better? Yeah, okay. much. I Good. think it was, it was sealing before on the in-between. You know what I mean? Because there's this, open it. 
Can you open it? It was hooking in between here. Now it's on the bottom lip, so that's where it's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be on the bottom lip. Yeah, it is, and that's it seals tight then. There you go. Open it up again. Cool. So, do we have the vent closed? I mean, the actual vent? Yes. Pulled down closed? Okay. If you pushed up is closed and then pulled down towards you is open. Okay. Go ahead and close it. All right, there it is. New solar vent. Happy boy. Well, I think we did good for it being. being well, it's 29 degrees out. It's just damp because it's cloudy and. That's a tad cold for beach people. Yeah. Plus, there's a lot of white stuff on the beach. I know. It's kind of a little nippy on the toes. My toes are cold. My toes are cold too.